Hi guys, it's Kendra and I'm back to talk some more about planning using your happy or other planner and getting the most out of the planner that you buy. So first I'm going to show you what I have. We showed, I showed you a little bit of this last time, but I'm going to show you more. So this is my book journal. It is a planner that I have repurposed to be my book journal to keep track of the books that I read. So, first I'm going to show you what the pages look like, and then I'm going to show you what they look like now. So, at the beginning of each month, you have these plain um, whole month uh, calendars. I covered that to look like a bookshelf, so that I can fill in those books with the books that I've read. And then after the whole month page, you get a week-to-week -week layout. So they would look like this. With the days and then the little checkpoints over here. I covered the days like this. Now this is using washi tape and some Mod Podge things cut out of magazines and a sticker. So I just covered everything that had words and then what I do is I add my books and descriptions. So each book gets two pages. I write the title, the characters, a rating for the book, and then the title again, and then I ask myself some questions to help me remember the book. So that's what I do with my book journal. I bought the extension pack um, at Walmart that has those calendar pages in it, and they are the Happy Planner brand. But you could use um, a lot of different things, and we're going to talk about that in the next video. So this is my day-to-day -day planner. It's in a big old cover. It is Happy Planner as well. So I'm going to take it out of the cover so you can see it. It's big. It's got the expander discs on it because I use it for everything. My personal life, um, here at work, at the library, and for my kids' appointments, all of that stuff. So there's so much that you can do with them. I have a sticky note page at the beginning. And then, just to show you what the month looks like, we'll go to April. So this is a monthly layout. That's your whole month of April. And you can use that um, however you'd like. So if you decide you're going to use it for a daily planner, maybe you'll write birthdays. If you're going to use it for a tracker, maybe you'll um, put your bullets and talk about maybe how much you walked that day or exercised or ate or if you're going to use it for a budget plan or how much you need to save by this day or that day. And then we'll just go here to today and this is what my layout looks like for this week and I have a little today tab that's something that you can make and then as you see I use some stickers and I also use some Mod Podge and things cut from magazines. And I just list the things I need to do. And I use the checkbox system. So I put a box beside it. When it's done, it gets checked off. So that's pretty much um, how you can kind of repurpose your pages for something else and just how to decorate your planner. So check back next time, guys, and we're going to be talking about how to totally redate an outdated planner. Thank you. Bye-bye.